We're here with Michael Voltaggio. Thank you for being here, Michael. Yeah. Chef and owner of the popular Ink restaurant in L.A. And we're going to be making some desserts and eating some scotch eggs. Is that correct? All that. OK, All great. That. So you said Ink restaurant. Ink actually closed last week. So, I'm so sorry yeah, to bring that out of, up. Out of business. But you're moving. Well, that leads to, like, other vices. So my vice uh, became scotch. OK. And so I partnered with Dewar's, and we're going on, like, a little whiskey emporium. So we're going around the country. I mean, do you guys like scotch? Anyone like scotch? <laughs> Um, and we're making scotch eggs. And I heard you went to a little small school called Northwestern. Northwestern University, okay. Evanston, did you Illinois. Graduate? I did graduate. Good job. Thank you graduated you. Thank college you guys. too. I did. Okay. So In the, the first... middle of my class. Wow. Yeah. All right. So uh... I, went, I'm, I work in the food service industry. So <laughs> okay, gotcha. Uh, the first scotch egg is basically green relish, which I cheated because you don't eat ketchup on a hot dog no, you in don't. Chicago. That right? would be okay. the wrong thing to do. So I made the relish out of tomatoes. And vinegar, Fantastic. We'll and take sugar, it. Sugar, so it tastes like ketchup. Don't Great. tell anyone. No, I won't. No one can know about this. All right. Uh, and then next to it is a little bit of pickle, some mustard. This... And then if you would pour us maybe a dram of scotch. As do they it. Say. Is there one that you as want? Is there? A... I prefer this one. Okay, the great. Yellicky. I do like that color a lot. And while you're doing that, I will work on dessert. Because okay, great. Scotch-inspired dessert. Great. So what are we having? This dessert is basically the flavors of scotch. When I smell scotch, I smell smoke. Sometimes I smell berries. I smell age, I smell wood. So I wanted to get all of that into a dessert. Great. Everyone likes wood and age and stuff in Especially their dessert. Especially in their dessert. Yeah, exactly. Well, we can just, we'll knock this part out of the way first. Mm. <laughs> That's excellent. It's not bad, right? It's excellent. Okay. So can I eat a scotch egg while you're doing this? You can eat a scotch egg. Okay, great. While pouring this cream over that smoked chocolate right there and stir that up. And while you're doing that, I'll get onto the Dessert part. You're doing fantastic. I'm pouring that on that? This is, cooking is so easy. Yeah, just pour that on that. Okay. Not on that. No on that. Oh, You're doing the right thing. All right, that went great. <laughs> what are you doing now? This is caramelized white chocolate. So basically, you just cook white chocolate like dolce de leche until it turns brown. That's no, how I do it. You're not gonna do this, so I'll just. <laughs> you can stir that while you're stirring that. I'll use the one that I made earlier, just in case that one gets messed up. It could happen. This scotch egg is really good. The other one's made out of pepperoni pizza. Which one? This one? Yeah, I heard in New we're in New York now, so I heard they like pizza in New York. Somebody That's great. told me that. And we yeah. like our pizza in eggs. In eggs. Eggs and pizza. I feel like maybe I want to make sure people see how beautiful these scotch eggs are. So this. Ooh. <laughs> That is not the noise you're supposed to make when you see a scotch egg. This okay. thing that actually looks like scotch is a caramel that I made out of scotch. So I wow. basically caramelized the scotch itself. OK. Which brings the flavors of like the aging, the barrel, that whole situation. And I'm adding more scotch to the dessert, just in case that wasn't enough for you there. Mm -hmm. And then basically the smoky part, the part like where you taste the burnt wood and stuff, this is chocolate that's been smoked. And then there's cream poured over top of it, which you did here. Why is it in a, a fire because extinguisher? Because we're going <laughs> to. We're basically going to serve this. You know how scotch is served on the rocks? Yes. Have you ever had a dessert served in the rocks? No. So we're going to make smoked chocolate rocks that the dessert's going to be served in. So you've got scotch in the rocks instead of on the rocks. I Stay even, with me for even a Even the little bit of scotch, I completely lost here. So, <laughs> and what's this? You go in your freezer and grab the liquid nitrogen, which I'm sure you have. <laughs> yeah, okay. exactly. And everybody's, oh. Everyone, yeah, you get like an, ooh, yeah, that works. Just, and this is good for like, it sends you and you Oh my God, try? that was terrible. No, you don't no, 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 no. Okay, you know what? Here, we should you be want, sick. Your skin is I'll obviously you a lot tougher than mine. You put, put, put these on just in case. Great, thank you. That, this. Uh huh. My scotch drinking gloves. <laughs> That's completely unnecessary, by the way. We just. Okay. And then. <laughs> safety first. I mean. Okay, so that's, that's liquid nitrogen, and now this is chocolate. This is chocolate. You made it right there. Oh, thank you. Good job. <laughs> and then when you weren't looking, you put it inside here. This is very exciting. This is really cool. Are you ready? Yeah. I think we need, like, can you guys, like, brr, like do something with the, there you go. This is my moment, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> See that? Oh, my god. Now, this dessert that is, not what I expected it is to look going like. to be in the rocks. Wow. And this stuff is, I mean, if you watch this. You guys paying attention? This is called Dragon's Breath. Uh-huh. Or smoked chocolate okay. rocks that you make. You just put it in your Wow. 
You want to try? Don't bite too hard. Here. Why is there rules? There's no rules. Do whatever you right. want. You do you. Chew and bite at the same time. Now chew, chew, chew. He's a natural. He's a natural. I wonder, so you're moving, you have a new restaurant. Well, oh, you're yeah, moving. I forgot in. about that part, what led me to the scotch problem. Yeah. Uh, blessing. Um, basically, Inc. shut down last week. We're moving to a bigger space. We're going to call it Ink Well. We're going to have a bar. We're going to have scotch. We're going to have dessert. We're going to have food. We're going to have Are you excited? Is it exciting as a chef to have a bigger space? It's more work. More okay. work. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry I, mean, I brought it's like it at up. Home. If you build a bigger <laughs> kitchen, it's a bigger mess. So. Yeah, exactly. Well, well, you, well, you were the one who obviously got too big for your britches and had to move to a bigger place. Wow. You know, I'm just going to. And they wonder why I drink scotch. You wonder. Yeah. Um, this is fantastic. Uh, because can I have a spoon over there? You I feel can probably take your glove off now. Unless you want to wear it. Okay. I'm pretty happy with it. I would dig down into the like bottom of it. Uh-huh. Does anyone else want some? Can we feed other people? Yeah, go for it. Is that allowed? No. How do we get how do we get it over there? You can uh, you can pick a person that you really like during the commercial break. We need somebody. Michael Baldonio. 